Hello and welcome to another episode of Agilado. My name is Ravi Verma. I'm the President, CEO and Org Whisperer at smoothapps.com and it's good to have you back with me. Today I'm going to talk about something that is a little bit controversial in the Agile industry. The need for speed reminds me of uh, the movie Top Gun where I think Tom Cruise says, I feel the need, the need for speed. So no matter which company I am coaching, which company I'm trying to guide on the path of agility, if there is one term that's almost guaranteed to come up is a reference to the term called velocity. And in a nutshell, velocity is an indicator of the number of features that are delivered by a team within some time interval. So let's assume velocity is the number of features delivered in a given month. And most executives who try to hire me or who try to ask for my help as an agile coach uh, understand one and only one indicator of agility and that is velocity. So they often ask me, Ravi, help us increase our team's velocity. So usually velocity is plotted as a graph or as a trend, something like this. So on the x-axis, we have time. So this could be months, Jan, Feb, and so on. And on the y-axis, we plot velocity, which is usually in points, but think of it as some kind of an indicator of the number of features that were delivered over time. Many times executives make the mistake of comparing velocity across teams. So what they want is they want to see a graph like this, where the velocity of a team is steadily increasing quarter over quarters. So let me give you an example and ask you a question. Imagine that there were two teams or there were teams of teams. Maybe one graph is showing you the velocity of five, a group of five teams. Let's call them team of team A. And there is another graph that is showing the velocity of team of team B. Both have, let's say, about five teams in them. It looks like team A seems to be delivering, steadily delivering more features every month, whereas Team B is either flat or there are some times when the number of features delivered by Team B are actually going down. Let me ask you a question. Based on this picture, which team is more agile? Which team is more successful? And which team is delivering more business value to the customers? Most executives that I work with would answer the question as Team A. Let me give you some examples which might make you rethink. What if Team A are the people working in BlackBerry and Team B are the people working in Apple? Sometimes more velocity or more output is not the same as more value. What if you are getting better and better at delivering sausages, but the market is looking for cupcakes? So here's my question to you. When you are measuring business agility and the value delivered by your company, are you using the right indicators? Do you feel the need for speed? And is speed the same as velocity? Is speed the same as value? Many times our customers tell me that they want to do agile or be agile because they are scared of being left behind. And when I ask them, how will they measure they're going in the right direction? They say they're gonna use velocity. And I ask them, that's not right. What if there's a better way? The answer is we don't have time to find a better way. And so I ask them, if you're running so short of time, what if you go in the wrong direction? Can you afford to do that? And will you have time to double back 
or would your competitors have left you far behind? So here's my challenge and invitation. Look at the metrics and indicators you are using for value and how close are they, are they to, to true business value that your stakeholders and customers appreciate. If there was one thing you could do to get better in this area, what might that be? Try a small experiment. Let me know how it goes. And until the next episode of Agilato, this is Ravi. Keep calm and scrum on. Hey guys, hope you liked my videos. Don't forget to subscribe so you get notified of our new videos and new episodes. Share with your colleagues. Follow us on social media. So would you like fresh ideas on how to stay agile? Check out smoothapps.com. We've got our upcoming events and training. You can read our blog for free tools and techniques. And you can even schedule a free mentoring session with us. So until next time, scrum on.